We are in Rabat. This used to be the capital city of Malta in the time of the Romans. Uh, in fact, what's lovely about Rabat is that it has a center of the town that has been quite conserved, not yet destroyed. Um, there are quite a number of historical uh, points in Malta, like St. Paul's Church. Actually, the, that door is, uh, goes, there are steps going down to what is traditionally known as St. Paul's Grotto. They say when St. Paul was in Malta, he stayed there in a quite an uncomfortable small space, I must admit. There are uh, catacombs down the road, but uh, it's lovely also to walk around the narrow streets of Rabat. It is very close to Medina that we might visit uh, later. Usually, if you come to Rabat and the Medina, you visit them together. But it's nice to go around the winding streets. Um, and in the meantime, I'm eating pastizzi. These are a typical Mediterranean savory snack, actually. They come in uh, ricotta or pea or mushy peas. They don't cost more than 35 cents, but two of them are a meal, really. Actually, I should not be eating many of them um, because, you know, they are not very friends with the belly. <laughs> um, they, uh, there are also an, a, another kind of version of these savory snacks. Um, they are called asadat. They are bigger. And my favorites would be those with spinach, olives and anchovy. They are fantastic. And those would cost maybe one euro, and, but it is a lunch. Just one is a, is a lunch, really. Um, and, uh, these, this is a tradition that reminds you a lot of the Middle East with some Turkish and Middle Eastern traditions of pastry. However, what I read, I'm no historian, mind you, um, they were, uh, it's a tradition coming here from Sicily where they call them pasticci, there's another version of them. So, cheers, good pasticci for me, for now, until you come to visit us now.